Hi everyone. Before we start the episode today, I wanted to provide a brief update because things move pretty quickly between when we recorded this on Tuesday night and today, the day of release on Thursday. FA has opened their Discord to take official feedback on the policy that we will be talking about. If you would like to provide some feedback as we encourage throughout the episode, you can join FA's Discord based on the link that we will put in the show notes. If you'd like to chime into the discussion and share your thoughts, I would encourage you first to listen to our episode and then join the Discord. The channel in question that you can navigate to is called 2-7-feedback. You can find it by going into the channels and role section and going to browse channels. Anyways, that's just the update before we listen to the episode. Again, encourage you to listen to the episode in its entirety and make your own decision before hopping over there. But we do encourage you to share your voice. It's very important. Amazing. All right. Well, hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to an episode that I didn't plan to record. This is an emergency podcast coming to you live. We have assembled the Avengers. So here with me is my illustrious co-host. Hello, Calibra. Hi, I am the co-host, and that's why I'm here. And uh, we also have our uh, (laughs) incredible partner in crime, Pessimist, here as well. Hey, Pessimist. Hello. How are you? Good. Uh, I mean, we have, I have we have a lot Justice to talk League, about. By the way, <laughs> okay. Well, sorry, I didn't think of that first. I'm, I'm, uh, whatever. Real, real quick, before we get into it, what, which one, which hero would I be if I was in the Justice League? If you were in the Justice League, I'll have to get back to you on that. Maybe I'll okay. think of something in the meantime. Okay, end of the episode then. That'll be the yeah, the prize at the end of the episode. Yeah. Okay. Cool. If you get to the bottom of the bag of content, you'll get your prize. <laughs> Not that you won't be fucking bored by it. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, yes. This whole situation is fucking ridiculous. I don't even really need to plug the Patreon. Y'all know what it is. It's patreon.com slash Pod. Thank you to our patrons for making this possible. This one in particular is going to be real off the fucking cuff. So uh, you get what you see here, y'all. So we've assembled because there's some bullshit going down on for Affinity. Everyone's favorite website. And by favorite, I mean least favorite. Yeah. So, FA, what, what, where did you go wrong? I guess I'll start from the top. So, a uh, quick background on the history of Fur Affinity with regards to the policy that they have updated, introduced, whatever you want to call it. Back in 2010, uh, Fur Affinity outlined a ban on portraying what they called childlike bodies and adolescent animals, and then later clarified it in 2015 um, to ensure that that was stating that it was banning content featuring minors in sexual situations. This seems pretty straightforward. I think everyone's like, yeah, that that honestly, the fact that it took you until 2010 is a pretty big L, but all right, you did it at long last. You did the right thing. Congratulations. We're not giving you a pat on the back for that. Well, things have now evolved for some reason because i guess the panini has addled everyone's brains and we figured let's uh let's throw some more shit into the can so on may 19th there was a post released by for affinity's administration titled update regarding upload policy 2.7 content involving minors and i I could read you the whole post but i think i'm gonna try and summarize it a little bit essentially for affinity says that they have been taking a stance against fictional content featuring minors in sexual situations for a long amount of time. And one of their most well-known changes, the one mentioned in 2015, removed the classic a thousand year old lolly vampire loophole trope by expanding their definition of minors to include humanoids with childlike body proportions, including canonically adult characters who look like children. Mm -hmm. Uh, So those things would need to be aged up accordingly to be allowed in submissions containing sexual situations. They said now that, you know, based upon additional feedback from their community, that any reports of Pokemon or Digimon who have childlike body proportions or appear as adolescent animals will be treated as any other when in the presence of sexual activity, sexual objects, nudity, or fetishized in any way. 
And then they said that this only applies to characters that only have childlike proportions or are otherwise presented as children. Now, they released that, and they released it like a fucking crop dust because they farted and left and apparently did not anticipate the kind of blowback that they were going to get. So they later added an additional clarification. And so they said, this one I will read. Due to the feedback we have received regarding this update, we are providing the following clarification on the changes that went live today. No, there is no blanket ban across species. No, there is no list of species that we will always take action on. Yes, characters in your NSFW art must be aged up. No, simply making something bigger or smaller does not indicate age. And we look at anatomy proportionally alongside other context in submissions. There is... Also, some confusion as to the extent of the changes that went live today. Section 2.7 of the upload policy has been in effect for many months with its current wording. The only thing that changed as of this update is our internal policy on Pokemon and Digimon. Pokemon and Digimon are now actionable if presented as children when they were not in the past. Again, small or otherwise cute adults, Pokemon or Digimon or not, will not be removed unless they proportionally or anatomically represent a child. Now, this clarification did not clear anything up. And in fact, people got even angrier. So then yesterday, today, whatever the day is today, uh, May 22nd, <laughs> there was a third clarification that was outlined. And somehow, you know, I got to say, F.A., they really could have done with having a PR person because somehow with every single additional clarification they released, they made the situation worse. And this one definitely made it worse. So this is their FAQs and clarifications for upload policy 2.7. They open by starting off and sit with an apology and they say that they posted the original post at a time when not all staff were available to help moderate and were not able to provide adequate clarification. Again, this is why I'm referencing a crop dusting. Uh, so because of this, there was confusion and speculation that caused undue stress upon the community, which should have been prevented sooner. Then they talk a little bit about some people were feeling like they were being falsely accused of something and becoming the target of harassment. And they tell people to file trouble tickets as if those have ever solved anything with fur affinity. So then they jump down to a frequently asked questions section. And so I am going to read a few excerpts from this. Oh my uh, so God. The, TL, the TLDR is that... One, the rule isn't new or and hasn't changed, which is blatantly incorrect. Two, this does not affect safe for work content. Three, enforcement is being expanded to include Pokemon and Digimon. Four, short characters are not being impacted. This is also incorrect. And five, minors involved in safe for work or non-sexualized interests, such as vor or transformation, are allowed. Now... I'm just going to pause there for a second because what they're basically saying is it's totally all right, y'all, to make art where you're eating kids. That's fine. That's definitely not sexual in any way, which, wow, all right. You know, you can just look, <laughs> look at a fucking kid's feet and it's not sexual. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know? kid, feet, kid feet's fine. That's the, nothing's fine. ever gone wrong there. Totally fine. Absolutely nothing. Uh, so, <laughs> so there's some, you know, bullshit here, but I, I just want to pick on a few specific elements. So number five on this FAQ is what Pokemon and Digimon cannot be in sexual content without being aged up. And it says, while we cannot present an exhaustive list of thousands of characters, common canonical inclusions would be baby Pokemon such as Pichu, Mime Jr., Riolu, and Smoochum, and other Pokemon such as Cubchoo, Cubone, Torchic, Ralts, Eevee, and Gothica, and Digimon such as Agumon, Impmon, Gatomon, and Vimon, as these characters have childlike proportions or look like adolescent humans or animals. And then the next one is, what does aged up mean? Number six. And they say, mm -hmm. we are not concerned with whether or not a <laughs> character is emotionally mature, a certain uh, level, oh. or evolved. The physical proportions of the character would need to be altered. It is not enough to change the size of a character. Scaling a Kachi character up or down doesn't change its proportions. Making an adult smaller doesn't create a child, and making a child bigger doesn't create an adult. If the character has no difference from birth to elder, you would have to draw them non-canon for them to be acceptable in sexual situations. And then, number seven, how do you judge proportions? 
Generally speaking, as characters age, their proportions change. For humanoid characters, we compare to the proportions of humans, and for feral animals, we look to their Earth counterparts or similar <laughs> for fictional species. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, two more, two more. I'm going to read from this and then we'll open the floor. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> what, what about short stack or chibi characters in sexual content? This is number 10. A short stack character is one who is short in stature with larger than average features. Short stack characters generally have adult proportions with short stature and would be allowed. Cool, that makes no sense. Chibi depicts short and cute characters with oversized heads. The chibi style is often used in media when characters are acting silly or out of character, and some of these circumstances may not be allowed if they appeal or appear too childish. However, in many situations, the style of the character has a large head and a small adult body and would be okay. Ultimately, mm. body proportions are what we are looking for when making mm. a decision. That mm. section answers literally fucking nothing. <laughs> and finally, and finally, I have to read this one because it literally made me lose my shit. Number 12 is, I don't know if my content is allowed. Their answer is, if you have questions as to whether your content is allowed, please open a trouble ticket under general question about site policy with a link to the content in question and we'll provide you with an answer. AKA, please tell us how we can narc you better. So that's the overall overview. And as you can probably tell from my tone in reading all of this, I am like absolutely losing my shit. And again, before I open up the conversation, I just want to say the intention here is clearly good. I'm not trying to be a complete dick. We all don't want, uh, you know, look to season three, episode three, the episode with Bubba. We do not want kids in sexual situations. So don't get me wrong. The intention here is good. But what is being outlined here is just in just completely ridiculous and doesn't make any sense. It, it has no basis in reality. Okay, I'm going to get off my soapbox for a second. Who would like to go first in terms of chiming in? <laughs> I think you should go, Pez, because you're actually the one who was able to document a good deal of things that can come in handy yeah. if anybody else wants to see it. Yeah, so, okay, <laughs> listen. So the reason why I even made this document to begin with be was because my brother had some like insider information from like the discord server he just like so he just like earlier today he's like he sent me like a fucking all caps like ah, ha, 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 and he started <laughs> say and he started saying like you didn't think it could get fucking worse you didn't think it could get worse and i didn't think it could get worse it did it got worse <laughs> and he started sending me a bunch of like uh discord uh receipts from like from twitter or like just like I, I i i don't know if he's in the like discord or whatever but like it was fucking wild okay like he just started sending me shit and i decided you know we have to like doc we have to document all of this because the it really does like like indicate just how like incompetent like the team behind for affinity really is like it is yeah. baffling to me that like these people like have managed to keep the site even like afloat <laughs> all this time <laughs> like i've been i've been on for affinity since like 2013 or something like that and I, I and i'm not gonna sit here and say that like it's always been like the worst but like it's always had like some very serious problems that no other really like art site has really ever had. We're talking about security issues, moderation issues, like the whole nine yards with regards to like how that place is run. And also yeah. the fucking, the UI was like outdated as shit and it still kind of is, but that's not the reason why we are here. The reason why we are here is because we want to talk about how this policy actually makes it harder for the mods to do their job because yeah. i want to i want i want to start this off with a story because i want you guys to understand exactly like how lax even though since 2010 they had supposedly decided that they were going to ban mm -hmm. childlike bodies and basically put a chilling effect on cub porn like that's fine if you want to do that i think that like 
I, I, I think that's a good thing. But if what you, is a good thing exactly? It's just because I'm looking for you. Putting a chilling effect on on cub porn in general is yeah, generally like a good is generally like a good thing. In we my opinion, we don't want cub porn. We don't yeah, want we cub don't, porn. We don't want cub porn. It is harmful to like have that out and just like have a platform where that can be like consumed. I don't think that's good, and I don't think that should be consumed. But the reason why I'm saying this was because like even though that they had this policy, that was still like extremely lax on the moderator side. I don't know if I've like I don't I don't know how many like new people who've come into the fandom like after 20, like 14 or 15 and know about this story because they used to have like this guy on the platform and he's really, really big. Older for older furries probably know him as Adam Wen. Most people will know him as Zosh. Z A U S H. And Zosh <sighs> made a comic that was about a and, and I read it. It was about a dad taking his daughter on a trip to a like Airbnb or something like that. And the, the whole comic is just like him getting cucked by his neighbor while he fucks his 10 year old daughter. Oh my fucking God. It's and, <gasps> and I know that she was 10 years old because while they didn't explicitly say that she was 10, he said in a journal, I believe, or a post or something. It was a journal, I think. Yeah. Something like that, that he wanted to retcon her out of the fifth grade and generally like 10 years old. That's the kind of like age range that you're dealing with when you're talking about like the, that grade level. But yeah, that guy got a lot of fucking flack because I mean, like tens of thousands of people saw this and it's like, wait, that's fucking straight up like cub porn. Like, why is this allowed? And why isn't the, why aren't the mods doing anything about it? And they never did anything about it. They just yeah, they let left it, it up. They left it up for at least a week, right? They, that was like at least yeah. a fucking week. It was uh, at least like, a week. There's, yeah. no way, there's no way that it was also unreported too, right? Yeah, it, oh, it, it, had, it, was, it was definitely reported and it was left up. The only reason why it was taken down was because Zosh himself took it down after getting a harassment. And I think that really indicates like a failure on their part. But even then, there is another reason why that this is a failure. And I'm going to read this to you because this is from Zosh's tweet. And he says, I haven't used FA in years. Got banned for no reason. A little warning to anybody who didn't think that their new rules were going to be abused. And it says, your account has been permanently banned for the following reasons. After reviewing your account, we do not believe that you are a good match for our community. Because of this, we have chosen to permanently ban your account and end our services with you. Notice, all your accounts will be closed. You may not create new accounts. Any accounts you access or create will be closed. If you disagree with this decision or believe it was made in error, you may appeal it by emailing appeals at Fairfinity, blah, 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 blah. Basically, Zill said this earlier, but basically what they're saying is uh, he failed a vibe check. That's why that's why they banned them. Yeah. It wasn't for which, it wasn't for a TOS violation, which he obviously committed a TOS oh, absolutely. violation. Absolutely. Like he should have been removed for doing the cub porn comic, but they don't even have the gall to actually say, yeah. Hey, you did cub porn, so we're banning you. Instead, because I guess they're trying to like protect themselves somehow, they're like, Hey, you failed the vibe check, so uh get the fuck out. Which is like Okay, wonderful. So are we just empowering mods now to evaluate people's vibes and kick them out? Because again, to be clear, I'm glad Zausch is gone. Like he's a piece of shit and he did cub porn. I'm glad he's gone. Rare FAW. But like we're talking about a policy that is based around vibes and at the like discretion of a handful of mods. That is not a fucking way to run the biggest furry website on the internet. Like that is literally crazy to me. Exactly. Yeah, it's uh, it's fucking embarrassing. And if that's the kind of way that you want to run things, then it's pretty much like a high school club and you could just kick people out whenever the fuck you want. I don't appreciate that kind of cowardice. You have you have a set of rules and you're saying, oh, you know, first of all, they fucking talk about having had these rules for so long, but never enforcing it. Good fucking job. 
even better job never starting with a set of rules to deal with this, but you just yeah. openly admitting that you never enforced rules you knew were there. And now that you're even enforcing it in the most fundamental way by going after someone that has a big follower account, you're going to tell, you're not going to tell them why? Like, are you people adults? No. Holy shit. No, it does not. not make you look bad to say, you violated our terms of service as per this section by, you know, you, you don't have to slander anybody either to do that. Yeah. And again, like what bothers me the most is like, so my account on for affinity predates them putting in the first version of this policy, which is, I realized that and that's insane. So there was a period of time in 2010 when I joined in February of 2010, there's a period of time where FA was totally fine with cub porn at that point, which wild, but anyways, they then banned it, apparently. They have enhanced it at least once. Guess what? Cub porn is still on FA. It shows up all the fucking time, and it doesn't necessarily get taken down. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe you should actually, like, enforce the original rules that you had, which were actually good, instead of trying to create a new problem. And that is what they have done here. I, I want to go back to something that I read out of that FAQ, the part about aged up. They literally said, we are not concerned with whether or not a character is emotionally mature. So basically what they're saying in their policy, this is like honestly even worse than what was originally there. What they're saying is it's okay if you have someone with the mental capacity of a child, so long as they look like they're an adult, it's fine to have them in porn. Like, I just like, what? What, you know, are we in the twilight zone? Like, I, what is happening here? I complain about the theming and framing of things, you know, in the niche that we're already in. And mm -hmm. you're telling me that outright this is the this is the way you want to, like, enforce things. You know, so you still want to give... You're, you're pretty much broadcasting an opportunity for people to still circumvent your rules and still upload content that makes you look really, really bad. It's embarrassing yeah. shit. Yeah. I think I just bring up this story because this is actually just a greater indication of like how fucking lax they were like in general. Mm -hmm. They yeah. didn't, they like, they had the problems all along and fundament, like obviously like they changed like the way they worded the uh, policy, but fundamentally nothing's really changed. Like according to TOS, it's still banned it's still a bannable offense to like to put children on the site like even if they're drawn but you had 13 years to make that like less of a problem and you didn't you had promised a lot for affinity like for instance mm -hmm. i remember back in 2011 you started the promising the blacklist and in, among these dms there is confirmation that uh, the blacklist was never under development that is incredible to me that like you know exactly like what the problem is you know exactly like what kind of like things people want in order to make the site safer and easier to navigate for them and give them a better experience overall like e621 all of its blemishes aside like at least its tagging system is probably the most robust like that is yeah in like any like gallery site at all and Easily. that is insane to me because it's not a fucking gallery site. It's not. Yeah. It's, the, it's, it's not the a antithesis. fucking gallery site. It's the antithesis of a gallery. Like, <laughs> So this really just like all this really does. It feels like a fucking virtue signal because we have like the head of admin right here or the admin of minor safety protections, uh, according to them, saying shit. Having, having like a fucking brawl with the entire for affinity discord and god bless them but fuck you we have do it the southern way say bless your heart bless oh yeah, bless, bless your, your heart, heart. <laughs> we have like a lot of iconic lines such as mew is an embryo um, <laughs> <laughs> and I also just want to say, because th like this is like everything from here on out, I'm just going to be referring to like the Discord messages because these are all like unhinged as shit. We'll have this as an attachment in the show notes, I think, just so yeah. everyone can fully yeah. see what this is. There is a picture of a Ghibli movie. I think this is Spirited Away. 
Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's the grandma, yeah. and she's like right in front of like a giant fucking baby, and it's this uh, MSP person saying a good example of why size does not matter. And it's like there are adults who look like babies and kind of have proportions of babies. Like, it, like imagine like drawing like a sumo wrestler, you know? Yeah, and and saying this to and saying this to someone. And being like, oh, you need to age them up? I don't know. That's fucking, that's like fucking weird shit to me. Like, again, yeah. it doesn't address the real problem of like why this is like a bad thing. It's not bad mm -hmm. that it's like a big baby. It's bad because it's a fucking baby. It's bad because babies don't have the mental faculties to consent or to like express feelings the way that like adults can. And to depict them in those situations, even if they even if they are depicted as consenting people, it is generally still not OK to do it because that sets kind of like a harmful standard anyway. So yeah. it's just best not to do that in general. Yeah. And I think like I, the problem here as well is like one of the things I'll mention in the discord mess messages, I don't know where this diagram is from. It's like there's like a visual guide that's like posted that's supposed to show like the child to adult proportions or whatever and i, I can like, say okay great we have a eugenic oh sorry go ahead that is that <laughs> oh. is the that is actually I, I i believe that is a chart made by andrew loomis he has a lot of books on anatomy and i believe this is his diagram talking about okay. uh human proportions okay so no shade to him i'm sure this is like a proper thing but like i see a picture like that and i get shades of like oh we're like evaluating people now based on their proportions and their art skill because literally again we have going back to the the publicly shown messages what is going to happen to short stack or chibi characters and then they have all this bullshit about like oh you know it's we're fine with it but like you know maybe don't that's basically what they're saying mm -hmm. and it's like like oh a large head and a small adult body how are you going to like like what how are you going to define like what is an adult i don't know maybe you, you actually think about the character in the context instead of trying to boil this down to this fucking horse shit about like there. proportions because at the end of the day we know this is actually the, like the, the decision needs to be based on whether or not the character is a child or not and they're doing like all this hand waving and trying to like put structure into what is essentially a shit pile, okay? Like you can put rebar into a shit pile, it's still a shit pile. And that's what's going on here. Yeah, and just you start you start asking more questions because people will have more questions. And I thought to myself, uh, hey, what if you want to draw Shantae way forward style? You know, she can look kind of childish. She's got a really big head and big eyes in the style of the game in some cases. Uh, but then, you know, here's the easier one that people overlook. And mind you, I don't like this kind of art, but Sonic art. What about them? None of them are of age. Like, pretty much none of them. Don't you, don't anybody come at me about the age of Sonic characters, the supposed ages of them. I fucking grew up with this shit, okay? The oldest one is like fucking Rouge or something like that. I think but it's Shadow, actually. Shadow? Shadow's, Shadow's like 25. Oh, something. yeah. Technically, he's uh he would technically be the uh the twenty five year old fifteen year old. Oh god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Oh god. So, so I'll, I'll tell I'll, I'll tell you right now, everyone from like from cream to uh fucking shadow has the same fucking proportions, pretty much. Yeah. So. I really would think that you guys need to uh, really start remembering that this is a matter of context. And um, if you're going to at least tell people why you're banning them or what you're doing, don't do this whole fucking vibe check thing. Because, man, I could look around for accounts that have terrible vibes. And if that's all it took for me to ban people and if that's what I wanted, because this is the site you're running. This isn't, yeah. the, you know... This is a site you're running. You, you're either going to enforce things openly or you're going to be fucking vague about it because, oh, what, you don't want to be called out for being wrong or something? Like, mm -hmm. that's embarrassing. That's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. And for Affinity, like, 
already has a bad track record when it comes to like mods just making wild fucked up decisions and then no one can really do anything about it because all you have is one mod and one person who reviews it and if the two talk to each other and they're like yeah fuck this that's it you have no like you have no ability to have any recourse so this is giving even more power to mods who have not earned any goodwill and we're just like okay here you go here's all the power now to like ban a bunch of people based off of like bad vibes basically go crazy mm -hmm. but yeah don't worry about it like it's fine nothing's actually changed when literally it has i mean to go back to the point about the blacklist like they've said they don't have a blacklist despite promising they would eventually make one but then they literally list off a bunch of pokemon and digimon in that list including some which i will mention so I'm just going to go focus on in on this one. So they mentioned Eevee in the post. Okay. So there is a shit ton of Eevee porn <laughs> on FA. Yeah. There, there, there's, make no bones about it. There's a shit ton of Eevee porn because everyone loves the, the Eevee Lucians. Everyone loves Eevee, whatever. Basically what they're saying is that almost every single one of those pieces is child porn. Like they are doing a one-to-one -one comparison. They're saying if you want to do Eevee, it can't look like Eevee anymore. And like... <sighs> The problem on FA is the prevalence of cub porn, but now you are focusing on people who are drawing Eevee. Like, th it's like, oh, we have this one problem. So you know what? Fuck that. We're going to go to a completely different thing and be like, we're going to deal with you. And now we've solved problem A. We're dealing with problem P. Of course we're dealing with problem A. And it's like, they're two completely different things. What the fuck are you talking about? Mm-hmm. I want I want to go back to another character who actually probably who actually would like if you logically followed their rules mm -hmm. would break their rules and that is Judy Hops. And the reason why I say Judy <laughs> Hops uh -oh. is because they have a thread that basically is like how you are supposed to age up a character and the example that you're supposed to follow apparently is Judy Hops. And the way they want you to do it is that they want you to, what does they say? She is still shorter than many, and when put next to a bigger version of herself as a child, you can see the difference in them. Never mind, there's nothing, there's nothing to say this. It's just like, oh, we won't ban people for being small or whatever. It's yeah, well, they keep it's, going back to that well of like, oh, we won't ban people for being small, but it's like, but that's already happening to people. Like, there's already been people who are like, hey, I'm getting like into issues now, but my kids are adult and you're telling me they're not because it's like a, I don't know, an Eevee or whatever the fuck. Vibe check. Yeah, vibe yeah. check, basically. Let's just, just be fucking honest. It's weird because like now they're clarifying all these things which are now obscuring everything, but now they're acting on things and then they're being opaque about it. Yeah, there's a lot of contradictory shit that, you know, Zill mentioned the fucking goodwill that it's not there. I read through all these changes and everything that they were doing. And, you know, what do you mean there wasn't enough of you to like further the discussion? What do you mean? Why does it matter that you want to have like this big discussion? You're making rules, OK? And and, and they're very like. It's a very simple concept. You know, when I made my terms of service that people would buy art from me, I knew exactly the number of things that I wanted to not do. And if that meant amending my rules because I can't account for everything, sure I would. But like real basic good sense shit wasn't even there to begin with. You can't go and say we're going to make we're gonna make some changes to rules say they're the same and that they've always been there but we didn't do it but now you can't do this and like i feel like they're just scrambling with with they're just scrambling to to not get as much flack you can't you can't do anything like this i, I just don't know like what kind of spurred this like why did like they decide all of a sudden that this was the right way to enforce the law that they had passed and very explicitly not acted on like in the past especially with like bigger examples that needed to be actioned so i don't understand like what could have happened that like maybe there was like a legal trouble from upstairs or something like that i don't know but it's frustrating that now this is discourse because it shouldn't be because it shouldn't be discourse like 
yeah. no one should be having a problem with like enforcement of like of of like child porn because yeah. that's because th people want that because that's bad be people yeah want, we want yeah, we want people... the child born to go away we do not want child porn please go away <laughs> yeah, you need to you need to ban it to make it safe and especially considering you like fa does have minors and does attract a general audience like you do have to take action against that kind of thing because there's a lot of fucking people who consume that shit and when they're fucking interacting with fucking kids you have like a recipe for fucking disaster right there okay that's a fucking problem and you can't be having that so the fact that they failed despite the fact that like they had the policy in the first place was insane and it doesn't take them that long to like action a policy too i've reported plenty of like cub porn like uh what do you call it like on mm -hmm. on for affinity before and usually i get like an action within within 48 hours but like fucking going back to zosh it was like a fucking week at least mm -hmm. and i don't know why it took so long for that like what fucking politics had to happen for that to happen that's unacceptable and one of the funniest things in that FAQ is just this call out around like minors being in SFW uh, kinks, things are okay or something like the call out of VOR. It's okay to have kids in VOR. So, you know, I joked, oh, it's fine. We're okay with eating kids. Like, I, I, please show me the safer work context for VOR. Where, 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 what does that, what is that? What does that exist somewhere? Because I've never heard it. And that's not to shit on Vor. Like I'm, I'm not, I don't have a problem with Vor, but what I'm saying is like, we're saying it's okay to depict kids in these situations, which are clearly being geared towards the bad audience, basically. Like mm -hmm. we know this is geared towards the pedos. Having minors involved in those situations is clearly geared towards the pedos. And sure, nothing like explicit is being detailed, but you're gonna sit here and tell me that, oh, it's okay to have kids in these situations where the audience is clearly for, for pedophiles, but you know, you artist, you drawing a, a, an EV with the dick out, that's the real cub porn. That's the real problem. We're gonna get rid of you, but it's okay. Eat as many kids as you want. It's funny. Uh, yeah, it's very funny, too, because uh, let's relate it to what we make this show on transformation. We go and we watch media and we're like, oh, yeah, that's hot. And people, I'm pretty sure, can only ever count on one hand the instances in which the scenario at all or the inclusion of this is at all sexual. There's a different thrill we get out of seeing it. Some of us, anyway, get a thrill out of seeing this stuff. So, you know, that's how we approach it. That's Vor too. So, if kids get eaten and you like seeing that, I don't, I I don't know, man. That's the thing that I wanted to say too. Is that like there there is a there is a like a I'm sorry, people are probably going to get mad at me for saying this, but like, it's true. And like, y'all need to cope about it. So there is a wide insistence among like a lot of uh, TF enjoyers, I guess, where they insist that that you can have it like safer work or just like as an expression of this or that. And uh, I'm not going to say that you can't have that personally. I, I trust you when you say that. But I also call that fucking cope especially because this shit is only brought up when it's in context of like obviously this kind of theme that is obviously kink adjacent we are talking about kids who are like like being turned into stuff we cannot deny that there is a large portion of the tf community that is very 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 kink adjacent and mm -hmm. if we don't acknowledge that if we say like, oh, we could be a little bit more lenient on it. No, we can't. Like, it's the, it's no different than saying like, than saying like, oh, like we can be a little bit more lenient with like vor or feet or fucking farts or something like that. And because transformation is listed explicitly as part of like yeah. the two examples. It was vor and transformation. Yeah, yeah. vor and transformation, which. <laughs> So I just want to say real quick, someone said in my server that I I, I think it was because Dragoneer personally likes transformation 
which is why, which is probably <laughs> why that was like uh, that was listed, explicitly yeah. stated. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, okay well no no let me let me let me just say this for a second so i get what you're saying pez i will say that personally like there are definitely people who only enjoy tf from like a safer work non-fetish perspective i've like seen those people on twitter and they like loudly insist it is not a fetish for them they just find it fascinating i choose to believe them that's fine so I, I can kind of at least see the perspective for including TF and saying, okay, that's fine. But like, again, this is my problem. It's all about the context. If you are including a minor in a transformation scene, what is the purpose? Is it because, you know, you're telling a certain kind of story? Like, for example, uh, our good friend Steph, I think she drew one time a sequence. It was like a girl who turned into a tiger or something, but there was nothing sexual about it. And it was... Oh, no, that was me. Oh, that was you. I Sorry, drew that. you do. You drew that. Okay, so you had a story that you were telling. Now, I don't think that's a problem. Like, I, there's nothing wrong with that. If you have, like, for example, a teenager who's like drawing themselves, like their human form, and they're turning into their Sona, who is also a minor. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think anyone would say there's anything wrong with that. Mm -hmm. It starts becoming a problem when it's like, okay this thing is being included and there's like you know other like kind of quasi fetish things being included like you know we were joking about before but it's like oh there's like this tf but like we're showing we're showing gratuitous amounts of the child's feet or something like mm -hmm. shit like that it's all about the context and the pieces themselves these discussions have to be nuanced and that's what bothers me so much about this like they had a broad rule that they could enforce based on the context of each piece and that is actually how you probably should do it you need to look at the context and have the flexibility to act on that but also build up goodwill with yourself as a moderating community which is the piece that they failed on and instead of working on that instead of actually trying to build up goodwill and build up a sense that the moderation team and the administrators were trying to do the right thing they instead come out with this very expansive and confusing policy and then just leave and argue with people when people are like, hey, this is us, your community telling you this is a problem. They're like, no, no, we know better than you, just as we've always done. This is this is the classic FA mod problem. When they decide to ticket or whatever, they're like, we just know best and we're not actually going to listen to any conversations or appeals or whatever. We're, uh... You can write us an essay and you can give us three badly written sentences back to you telling you you're wrong because I did, you know, TLDR, I didn't read the thing you submitted. Fuck you. Maybe I'm speaking for personal experience here. I just want to fucking say that one of the things that bothers me is the inconsistency of it. They talk very much yeah. like they want to be your buddy and like we want to pay attention and be good and, you know, make sure that you get the things that you need and everything like that and that everybody's okay. We're also just going to really rigorously back this thing. Also, we'll have snark coming from our fucking staff. And, yeah. like, petty arguments, the shit that doesn't need to be addressed. The fact that now I can quote somebody saying Mew is an embryo, was that really worth saying at all? <laughs> like, what a fucking line. What a fucking line. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna now stand by the fact that Mewtwo is just third trimester fetus cat. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That's all that's it's a, gonna be. That's a, that's a, that's a fucking <sighs> image. Is Mew a bridge baby? You know what? Since Mew can like have all these powers, probably I would say that yeah, Mew came. Mew is actually a, a a benign BB. Came from somebody's beach. Pokemon is all a beach, okay? That's why nothing makes any uh... real sense. <laughs> No, but it's okay because if you poke, put the Pokemon on the beach that makes you old, then you'll be okay. Just put them I'm on the okay. beach that makes oh, you old. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Hey, and Mew, and Mew can just be like a ditzy kid in his brain. In its brain, that's fine. That's fine. Has no idea what's going on. Doesn't understand what you're trying to do to it. Why are you looking between my? That feels funny. Fucking disgusting. Yeah. So long as the Mew looks like a fucking bodybuilder, then you're fine. You know, like yeah. You didn't even have to say this, but you did. Every time people do this, every time they bring themselves into like an equation, it's just like, we just want to make sure that certain people aren't hurt. Like these people. Oh, God, man, I keep complaining about this because there can't be critical thought because people get scared that suddenly there's going to be like censorship or harassment. But 
this now irrational fear of doing that and no ability to actually talk to anybody about these things makes it now that people just got to really be quiet and instead just kind of like talk to each other in an insular way until it's just like well some people think this and there's this camp and there's that camp and so you fucking are like dredging around in the community and then suddenly you're like i didn't know this group of people existed and this is now an open secret and oh great this is this is cool what will really change nothing nothing will change no just just to cap it off is this whole attitude is what's running this website that a lot of people are dependent on. That's my punctuation to that. The thing that bothers me a lot is the fact that, again, this is like people are going looking for a problem to solve instead of actually like dealing with the real problems. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, like there is cub porn on FA. It exists. You can go find it if you want. That's the thing that needs to be actioned on, not harassing people who didn't do anything wrong. The thing that bothers me the most is the fact that there are communities of artists who are now going to get persecuted when they have done nothing mm. wrong while the pedophiles stay high and dry. Again, yeah. like if you've just been like making a bunch of like Pokemon art or whatever, and you know, you're working with, I don't know, some of the small ones, I'm not even talking about Eevee, I'm just like, whatever, not like a, a baby one or whatever, but you know what I mean? Like you have characters, whatever, they they do whatever the fuck you want, fine. And you're like, oh yeah, this one's this age, blah, 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 it's an adult, whatever. Now you're the problem apparently, but again, mm -hmm. we have cub porn, we have shit like what Zouge did, and that is just gonna continue to go unaddressed. And it's like, for affinity, as you were saying, Libra, like they are acting all like sassy and like saying all this shit in discord. And it's like, these are things that if you are trying to run a professional website, this is not the approach you should be taking. Like saying, oh, you know, uh, we're listening and doing what we can. And you know, lots of people actually agree with us. You're just not seeing those discussions. And oh, look, only 14 thumbs down on my post. So clearly, you know, it's a small minority of you. Like, mm -hmm. who the fuck? Who the fuck talks like that? How is that someone from like the leadership of an organization? How is that a way to talk in a fucking public discord? I'm literally pulling up diagrams of how people age, lol. Yeah, okay. It's literally like fucking a Diane Feinstein kind of attitude towards like yeah. an actual fucking problem like that is on the site. And it's a problem that's been here all along. And like we haven't like and we haven't fixed it, even though like the solution is right in front of their fucking noses. And I think it's cheaper to just solve that problem than it is to like make all these other problems in the long run because like you said this is affecting people that is not supposed to be affected by it and it incidentally is also like hurting like it's also hurting the mods in a way because it actually it makes is. their job harder to moderate cub porn you shouldn't be doing that more more to the point uh, as to like why this shows like a severe lack of like actual empathy and and competence for mm -hmm. this job qualification wh however you'd like to slice that the nicest word you like to use between like this fucking slew of goddamn things you could quote you know somebody saying maybe if fa had thought to have the more public and visible visible discussion on this even a poll it wouldn't even feel this way but the reactions here seen here are 95 percent negative and the response that this person gave is community should we keep or remove sexual content of child bodies you snarky piece of shit! how fucking dare you you're not paying attention you are not paying attention. This whole like we're paying it, we're we're listening to all your feedback. No, you're not. You're not disseminating this shit. The thing about laws, rules, guidelines, everything like that is, you know, you, you do the best you can to catch as much as you can, and then when something throws you a curveball, you do your best to problem solve and amend it, work around it, make an exception, document it, and then be as clear about it as possible going forward. So that when people come along with either the same situation shows up again, or somebody tries to like get away with it under that technicality, you can work around that. But this isn't doing that at all. Instead, I, I don't even know if any of these people understand what they what it means like when something is child coded. You know how uncomfortable I get in a bunch of times when they see any girl in pigtails. 
Anytime I mm-hmm. look at that, I'm like, why are you wearing those pigtails? And I look at the picture and I look at the situation. I look at the tone of it. You know, I know what the fuck it is. All right. It's the same thing with like the Sailor Scout schoolgirl uniform. OK, it's the same thing with the little red backpack. It's the same thing with fucking, um, you know, with like big doe eyes. It's the same thing with like holding a little plush or something like that and talking a certain way. Those things are how people like to slip their things into spaces or with people that they don't want to. We talked about this with Bubby, where people try to insert their bullshit, and then suddenly you're doing something wrong. Which, what they're doing now is, to me, it sounds like they're giving you the way to do it more than actually uh, giving you the nose. This is kind of like, here's how you maneuver around it. And I don't appreciate that because after all this, I feel like they are barely qualified to like judge anything. If they can't make a case by case judgment, then I don't understand what the fuck they're supposed to do. Real crimes aren't even tried this way. Well, the thing I just wanted to mention was I wanted to read uh, from someone who's included in in kind of our like little document. Woot Master on Twitter um, had some really interesting thoughts. And I just wanted to quote one of the things that he said. First of all, you know, and this is a quote, you know, in trying to clear clarify the new rules, the admins and mods of FA only made things more opaque. Digimon and Pokemon now have to be physically aged up, but only if they're taking part in, quote, non-sexual, unquote, kinks. Unless the sexual kink is pregnancy, which then it's fine at 13. Mm -hmm. Because, again, they've said pregnant minors are not okay unless they're 13 and up. To go back to his tweets, like, this, the rules seem to be based around physical appearance, but also at the same time numerical age. How will the moderators judge the difference between a pregnant 12-year-old, bad, and a pregnant 13-year-old, good, if not given explicit ages in the description? Love making such a massive and pointless change based on, quote, additional feedback, unquote, and then having to clarify the change based on actual feedback. Excellent site. Love this hellscape of an internet we got going here. And then, as the last thing, he says, oh yeah, Fur Affinity is toast because what the fuck does this even mean? And there's a screenshot from one of the mods who is trying to, like, elaborate on what all of these rules mean, and it reads, and I quote, My understanding is if the proportions look like that of, say, a kitten or puppy versus cat or dog, even small dogs have, quote, puppy, unquote, and, quote, adult, unquote, differences. So, like, draw an Eevee with proportions of a Vaporeon, a kit versus a fox. If anyone can tell me what the fuck any of that meant, I would love to know because it sounds like a whole bunch of horseshit. Again, going back to my original analogy, this is like putting rebar in a pile of shit. Like, this policy is fundamentally unsound. It makes no sense. You had a good policy. You just needed to enforce it properly. And instead, you have decided that you're going to make this new policy because new equals better except none of it makes any sense and it's all contradictory to one another and this entire faq just really reads in a condescending way to me anyways go ahead because, yeah uh, that's what i was going to ask because it's actually like you can draw teen pregnancy according to this rule does that mean like i could draw like an 18 year old looking girl and say she's 14 and that would be like a-okay under the fucking fa mod guides that's fucked up I don't think you should be allowed to do that. I don't think, like, in trying to close a loophole, you made more loopholes. How would you do yeah. that? Great day for child pregnancy fetishists, you know? Like, damn sorry, it. Go ahead. Look, look it's okay. I, I, I want to remind you people, all right, that probably not listen to this, probably will never make it to you. But for the sake of, you know, just in case, it's okay to run your platform and say i don't like these things so they don't belong here end of story because it's yours and that's literally how shit works you're in my mm-hmm. house there's certain things i do not want you to say or do otherwise you're out do i need to outline reasons and give a history and you know lay out qualifiers and give you a chart and then give you an instance and a fucking flow chart no so you can just do that if you want you don't have to do this shit where now it's worse, now where you can literally say, don't worry, if, if, if it's pregnant and 13, don't, don't worry, it doesn't break our rules. I am actually going to push back on this a little bit, though. 
I am going to push a little bit back on that because I do think that if you're going to put in a rule like this, you probably should have done some consultation first. And yes, it is their, like, you're factually correct. It is their site. They can do whatever the fuck they want and they could just Im implement those things, which is what they do generally. But <sighs> it might be a good idea if they don't want this kind of pushback to, I don't know, maybe float a test balloon and be like, hey, this is something we're considering. What do people think about that? Because, hey, if they'd floated it that way, they could have saved their fucking pride and saved their asses and walked it back. But now they've locked themselves into a position in which they are increasingly contorting their pretzel bodies into trying to make it work and just making it worse. I agree. And the only thing I'm saying is that I want some fucking consistency because now I don't trust them. That's, yeah. that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm not even saying it's a good yeah. idea. I'm just saying... Just, just, just let us know what the fuck we're doing. What's going on? No, that's no, that's exactly what I was gonna say. You can't have like specific. You can't if you want your rules to be like wide catching and put like a chilling effect on a certain thing that you think is a problem. You can't afford to be specific. You can't afford to be saying shit like minors younger than thirteen may not be depicted as pregnant because that implies that you can actually have like a specific age group above that can be depicted as pregnant and you cause more trouble for yourself and you cause more trouble for your mods and it's not it doesn't make sense from like a like a personal perspective it also doesn't make sense from a business perspective how many fucking people on this website are actually like clamoring for like are there a bunch of fucking whales that are like giving this site ad money by like posting like fucking i don't know like fucking lolita diaper whatever the fuck is that really like the kind of like people that that they're getting their shit from i don't think it is i genuinely don't think it is it's insane to me that these rules are so specific in all the wrong ways and and they can't just like afford for themselves to be like arbitrary or like or vague in a way that withholds like generally people from posting it oh i just remembered something and i think this is actually I think this matters. There is a grace period for people to have time to remove content that would violate yeah. the terms of service, which they admit they did not enforce, but now are. So you're telling me that even though people have been, they have already for a very long time, or at least before it violated the terms of service. But now that they made this, these distinctions public and listed them out, they have a grace period to avoid it? How does that make sense? Why don't they want to do their job? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could argue that it'll help all the people who have now been caught in this web, like, wrongfully. So, like, all of the, like, Pokemon and Digimon artists. But that's, I get your point, though. I understand what you're saying. Like, what the fuck are you telling me that nothing's changed, but now also you're going to start enforcing it? Yeah, this just means that anybody who is like a clear and present offender has an opportunity to have gotten away with it with no consequences. Yeah, that is what you're doing. Oh, no, we innocent people get protected. Yeah, well, the guilty get away with it and they and nothing is learned. Nothing is gained. Maybe they'll find a way to get around it anyway. You know, like, fuck, man, there has to be a little bit of punishment here. I guess what they what they do say is that it's like it won't be like a major infraction. It will still be a minor one. So like I guess they are still saying there will be some sort of like a punishment thing. But again, like the, and this goes back to my central problem. Like the mods haven't been doing any of this consistently. So y there's going to be no consistency in how that's applied either. Like it just no. it's going to be random scattershot. So it will not matter. It will not matter. Just like nothing will change. The moderation won't change. Like and all the wrong people are going to get hurt by this. And yeah. for what? For literally, for what reason? I actually want to know. Dragoneer, if, you, if you're listening, please DM me. I want to know what the fuck is wrong with you. Please. Sure. Yeah, sure. Talk to us. You know, don't be scared. Just make sure you stand up for what you believe in. Don't be a fucking coward. God damn. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be a cold day in hell before like someone like Dragoneer comes on this podcast. But hey, I mean, if you'd like to, you can DM me as well. Apparently, I'm a TF journalist. So, uh, you know, you can DM us. And uh, and if you don't want to talk to me, just make sure to let them know ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure to let them fucking know ahead of time. If you don't want to talk to me, I can be perfectly civil. But if you don't want to talk to me, if you don't want to deal with me, please just say so. It's okay. 
And really, yeah, sure. You want to get feedback from people? Hey, look, we got people with some meaningful critique and questions. I mean, yeah, we're taking shots at you, but because this has been like consistently handled terribly for days, like you slept yeah. on it for two or three fucking nights, and this is the best you could do, I, and this is the way you're acting. I just want to say these are like some mods. Everyone else was like having a good fucking Friday night, just chilling the fuck out. Luffy for all the dumb shit that they said was the only person who was being talked to that entire night on Friday when they oh, had man. made this announcement. And that is insane wow. to me because everyone else yeah. just kind of left them out to fucking dry. Yo, you know what? Yeah. This also this also goes back to like the whole shit. Like they, they, they fucking feel bad that they didn't have enough people to deal with the with the con with the fucking things that are going down. Looks like you still yeah. don't. When are you gonna have it? We're we're mocking the Mew as an embryo thing because it is mockable, but like also you're right. That's literally the only person who is actually responding to comments because all the other mods and admins were like, eh, whatever. We'll just leave like these two or three people to fucking deal with it. So yeah. you know, hey, I'll I'll give this to what you, what you fucking the verse now? Yeah, I'll I'll give this to both uh Luffy and Mama Skiggles. At least they fucking responded to people because that was two out of an entire team and everyone else shut the fuck up and didn't say anything. And that's mm -hmm. pretty fucking cowardly. I'll at least take you know, we've again we've been taking shots here at what was said, but hey, at least they were saying something because apparently everyone else is just going to shut the fuck up and not listen to any feedback and not make any changes. And again, let's be clear that la this last update, the one that just happened as of today or yesterday or whatever the fuck, like they, it very much has like the tone of like, this is it. This is the final thing or, you know, our final crop dusting. And it's like even worse than it was before. And I'm just like, we're all sitting yeah. here like, wow, they're going to just stick to their guns with the bad policy because they have too much pride. That's basically what it is. Yeah. And you're also not showing people that you do speak as a group. If any of you have doubts, you all seem pretty, you, you all seem pretty unified. Oh, or no. at least, at least compliance, like, like, you know, compliance through silence, mm. which is also pretty embarrassing to me. Yeah, because sure. F F.A. would probably can anyone who said otherwise. And that's pretty damning, too. Well, you know, it makes sense to me with the kind of tone that's coming off of it. I can't believe these fucking people are in charge. Do they really just want to be police officers, don't they? That's that's why they picked Judy Hopps for their example. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, my God. <sighs> AMAB. Not assigned male at birth. AMAB. <laughs> what? <No. laughs> what? What the fuck do you <laughs> All mobs are bastards? Come on, guys. Oh god, why why did I fucking dull out? I feel dumb. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Mab, not a mab. A <laughs> mab, not not the sign mail at birth. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh fuck. The sign pissed off at birth. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that you is that you libra uh a little bit <laughs> i feel that a little bit oh uh, i i keep i keep saying this so that anybody that hears me can maybe just take a look at things and realize that you're not crazy but growing up i always felt like people that were in charge of big important things that you know mattered to a lot of people would be clearly smarter than me and be able to be mostly reliable and people who are fucked up, corrupt, and competent were rare. And if they were found, they would just be seen easily and taken out. And um, yeah, instead of that, I see a lot of nepotism and cowardice and um, just sheer fucking in like, like, God damn, I don't know how you're going to recover from the fact that people can literally read that it's okay to uh, impregnate anybody who's 13 and up. That's what you did. You did that. You thought it was a good idea for what is your terms of service legally for your website. And you're like, yeah, that's all right. And you're worried about looking good and taking feedback. You don't fucking care. Say what you want. But this comes off to me as a very precise effort to 
please everybody. The everybody being the users who have been asking them to do their fucking job for over 10 years and the people who want to make sure that they always get the content that they want to see on the website. Because, hey, you know, this is their platform that they pretty much fucking own, that they run, and boy, do they want to still keep seeing those nice pieces of art, that nice content that other people make for them. They don't want that to go away. Oh, no, their fun is too important. And I am very suspicious of the kind of fun when they really try to carefully say, these are the people we're guarding, these are the people we're not guarding, and I'm just kind of like... Yeah, you know, again, this is why trials are held by judges. This is why trials are held. Nobody breaks a law and just suffers a penalty. You have to evaluate things a certain way each time. Hence the fucking phrase case by case, because you cannot catch everything consistently and be fair. You can't do it. So either you're going to act like a cop or you're going to or you're going to be like, I don't know, just you, you don't understand what you're doing. You don't get it. And I don't think you have the fucking, I don't think you have the qualifications for it. Find people who know what it means to critically look at content and make real decisions. This is pathetic. I think we've said almost everything that we want to say. I wanted to open up the floor for like closing thoughts. I don't know. Did you have a closing thought on top of that, Libra? And that actually felt um, pretty closing, like. <laughs> yeah, this this is very much like, you know, I rest my case, Your Honor. But I guess a closing thought is I have come to really enjoy, warts and all, what the site can do for me, too. You know, it's been very mm -hmm. useful. And that's just like, and, and that's just me. There are people whose livelihoods are literally there. You're fucking with all of that. You're making people nervous about their expression or their ideas. And it's showing me that you really run it less like a website and a platform and more like a club. And I don't like that because you're, you're, you're giving me two different messages. You're, you're trying to be like my buddy and you're also trying to be very professional. No, don't fucking lie to me. I know I see what's going on here. You're scrambling. So that's why I said earlier, you can just make fucking rules if you want, but at least we'd know what you're about. Don't fucking feed us bullshit. That's my closing thought. Pez, any thoughts? I just want to say that, like, we have had so much time for these people to do something and they never fucking did. And we have had so many, like, other issues, like, to go to, go to boot with it. We've had, like poor business decisions we've had security leaks we've had like raids and shit like that like endless fucking trash this this site is run fucking terribly and i don't want people to take away from this the idea that like this is now another time when you should like go off and like go to like another fucking website where where like nobody is right now and you know what if you want to go to like co-host, if you want to go to Itaku, you can go to those places. They're they they are great. I love them. They're like wonderful places, and I'm sure that like when the time comes, their user base will have grown like way substantially, and I'll have missed out on a a uh, very good gold mine for engagement at least. But anyway, the thing that I want to say is that for now. Until that happens, FA is still currently the biggest hub for both users, non-artists, and by, by users I mean non-artists, and artists. It is the biggest place where these people meet. It is the biggest marketplace where these people meet. And I know this because every time I go on the front page, half of it is YCHs, half of it is auctions, or commission notices, streaming notices, half of it is fucking advertisement. And that is a really, really important ecosystem that you want to keep up if you want your site to be healthy and run right. But you can't be doing that if you're implicating people who aren't breaking your rules. You can't be mm -hmm. doing that when you have people who are only breaking your rules by technicality. You're breaking an ecosystem here for no reason. and. I think that if you're going to be affected by this, I think you should cause a stink. 
I think you have a right to be on this platform any more than than like other people. I think that you should fucking cause problems. I think that you should demand for the blacklists. I think that you should demand for people to actually fucking do their job and not just like sit around and stick thumbs up their ass while they make snarky remarks back at like the obviously angry and displeased crowds of people who have real issues with this. And we can't just really sit here and pretend like we can run away with it because we can't. We have to deal with these people. So fucking deal with them. Please, I'm begging you as an artist, deal with these people. I think, you know, as we've been having this conversation, I have obviously been thinking a lot back to the Bubba episode. And, you know, one of the funny things about that episode is that a lot of people accused us of being in favor of, of censorship. And like, you know, really being on the the side of, yeah, you know, Puritans and blah, 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 even though, again, we were just like, hey, maybe don't have child porn. That was that was the take, the very, the very spicy take of don't do child porn. I hope that uh, as you know, y'all have listened to this episode, you can understand that we mean that because again we are talking about literal censorship here against artists who didn't do anything wrong because basically a website couldn't do its job wouldn't to force its very clear rules and are now trying to contort themselves in such a way that they are i guess in their heads giving themselves a pat on the back and saying yeah now we've we're really going to do our jobs now when really they're just casting aspersions on people who hadn't actually done anything wrong and muddying the waters as to what any of those things mean so I do want to echo everything that both you have said. You know, I think it's really important to say something and to push back on these policies because, again, they don't make sense. They are actively going to make the site worse. We want to talk about a chilling effect. Hey, maybe it will actually put a bit of a chilling effect on cub porn, but it's also going to put a chilling effect on a lot of other artists who weren't doing anything wrong. And to be frank, and, I, you know, I have been a lot angrier and spicier than I have been in a lot of the episodes on this podcast. So I'm sure there's some folks who are like, wow, Zill, you're being so extreme. Listen, this is bullshit. And I, I feel very strongly about how this is bullshit. And I hope that you can take some of that passion and understand that we are expressing ourselves in that way because of how worrying this is. And the last thing I'll just say is the fact that, you know, as this has been raised, in this conversation, the fact that this is like written in such a way to protect specific fetishes because of certain people who have those interests, it's really galling. To quote an incredible comment from the uh, Twitter user Salsa underscore Gator, you know, some FA admin must really love their Spyro and Jake Long for. Oh, That's oh. how this kind of shit reads. It's like, oh. yeah, okay, you're, you really want to protect Ooh. that, but, uh, you know, we're going to go after the EV artists. So, if this is how you're running your website, we all see it. We all see what you're doing, F.A. And maybe you should actually think about the users that are giving you the feedback and take a step back. I don't have faith that you will. I've never had faith faith in F.A. One of my favorite memes is friendship with F.A. has ended. Now using F.A. but being really mad about it is my new best friend. And that is my life motto at this point. But again, we can always hope and fight for a better tomorrow. And that's basically what I'm imploring everyone yep. who's listening to do today. We yeah. all have the power to make this a better website and a better community and a better place. And it starts with us standing up and actually uniting behind a message. And, you know, the first time we kind of said this, we were like, hey, don't do child porn. This time it's, hey, child porn is bad, but this policy is fucked in the head. And maybe y'all should reconsider what you're doing. And I hope you will take that into account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fucking hope so. God damn. Don't worry. I, I I understand that a number of people who uh who fear censorship ideals from us would certainly not want us to include certain themes, for they would possibly also snuff out other ideas. It wouldn't be fair. But here, I'll I'll give you the I'll give you all the after gasoline mints. I have made my choices. Pez, you would be Black Canary, and Zil, you would be Mark. Actually, uh, <laughs> would you? Yeah, you would be Black Canary, uh, Pez, and Zill would be Martian Manhunter. Oh my I god, Martian Manhunter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you be? I don't know. I don't like choosing for myself most Batman. of the time because this is like, I don't want to choose what I'd want to be. I, I, 
I would like to somehow it. I would like to somehow have a deduce that just like you seem to match up with this, and I'd be like, oh, interesting. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's like I would love to be Batman. <laughs> Love not to be Batman, but I'm actually Booster Gold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think I'm. I'm closer to Booster Gold than I would ever be Batman. Really? Because, well, because well, Batman takes himself so seriously, and also because Batman is is incredibly paranoid. So you so, think Booster Gold would be more likely to listen to the Pizza Tower soundtrack on repeat? What do you mean he's not doing it now? Oh, okay, 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 fair, fair, fair. You mean fair. you mean like he's not in the past being like, holy shit, they just they just released this game that I never heard of, and I hate that there's no game preservation, and I don't know, it, it's just masterful music. He starts like you know playing it through the speakers of the fucking uh, the watchtower orbiting above Earth, and Batman's just gonna be telling him to turn it the fuck off or he'll break his fucking jaw or something like that. Of course he says that by just saying turn that off and standing in front of him, you know, with his chest up to his face, because yeah. that's how it would work. But yeah, and I'm like again, it, it, I would have somebody else. Ju- Fine, somebody else can comment. Uh, you don't know shit about me, so I guess uh, take whatever you get from me if you don't know me and give me a Justice League character that I would be. <laughs> I, I I really hope we get that that answer in the comments. I would love okay. to hear it. Okay, fine, fine. Um, I'll ask I'll ask both of you this then because you guys seem to at least be more in tune with uh, l- because of the movies. Fine. What what Avengers or Marvel character am I? Oh, Avengers or Marvel character? Yeah, you can pick from the movies or whatever the fuck. I'm not going to be a piece of shit about it. Oh, I Thanos is the edgy pick, but you're not fucking stupid. Like well, Thanos isn't an Avenger. We're talking Avengers. Yeah, but he's like he's like in the Marvel. He's okay, like a right, Marvel let's, let, let, let's narrow it. Which which pro, which protagonist hero or hero okay. adjacent? Let's do that. Um, I don't know. I've watched the movies. They're all kind of the same. Fuck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody, every protagonist is pretty much Iron Man or Spider Man. Yeah. I mean, I would. I would say either the Hulk huh. or or Thor. Rocket Raccoon. That works too, actually. Hulk or Thor? Wow. And Rocket Raccoon. Rocket okay. Raccoon. Why Rocket See, I wasn't Raccoon? I wasn't going to say that one. I wasn't going to say that one because that's mine, but that's fair. Because he's, cause he's got a fucking attitude, but he's always right. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. That's, that's great. really flattering. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, uh, why, why Hulk and or Thor? Four. Four. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I think actually, like, some of it was coming from, like, what Pez just said for Thor with, with Rocket. It's not quite the same, but, like, there's like shades of that particularly in like uh ragnarok i think i just like the like the analogy of like how the hulk in particular is like very emotions based in terms of like his powers and i think you can derive power from your emotions too ah okay all right really interesting thank you thank you for that that was actually pretty fun Yeah. yeah but yeah i i present uh pez with uh with dinah lance uh, Black Canary, if you don't know about Black Canary, her powers is that uh, she's pretty much, um, she is a highly skilled martial artist, but she's got the twist that she has a supersonic scream that can, like, flatten, like, super powerful villains. So even though she can't, like, catch bullets and move that fast, her scream is, like, fucking incredible. Ear and piercing. Sometimes, yeah. Not just ear piercing, it's the kind of thing that like slams you against walls and like breaks, and it's it's a really powerful yeah. scream, mm. actual superpower. And I'm a little amused because sometimes you get really little, like, what are you guys doing? And, and <laughs> but then also I imagine that you, you'd want to just like fucking kick someone's ass. Um, also, she has a style that I think you would closer, uh, more closely associate with. You know, it's like leather. Uh, like fishnet stockings, uh, you know, fucking like halter top, like that's her look. You know what I mean? I I am I am googling her right now. She is my Lizzie Whip dream. Okay. 
Yeah. Now, Martian Manhunter for Zill is because Martian Manhunter is a very composed character. You can really speak to anybody. It comes off as strange because from the outside, it's just big, tall, green man with bright red eyes. You know, so yeah. people would be really uncomfortable. Like, you look weird. But the moment you take down the take the time to sit down and get to know Martian Manhart and you just, you find like a really worthwhile person and a good friend. And, um, of course there's the fact that he can turn into like pretty much anything he wants. And, um, you know, if you want to bring even like your transness into it, Zill, the form you mm -hmm. see of Martian Manhunter when you Google him is not his original form. So he chose to take another oh, one. Yeah. I dig that. Very much dig that. Yeah. So there you go. That's my justification for why I gave you both the ones that I did. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. And, of course, uh, Black Canary will whoop the ass of somebody without any question. She's not too much like, oh, I got to do the right thing. It's like, I'll hurt you. Don't shut the fuck up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So there you go. That's trivia. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, this is the uh, last uh, actual recording we're doing uh, chronologically. The one that will come out on Tuesday was recorded before. This was not the last recording I thought we would have, but what can I say? Sometimes uh, <laughs> the world has a way of conspiring against best laid plans. And uh, I think this yep. is definitely important enough to make an emergency podcast. So um, I hope you all yeah. enjoyed this episode that dropped on a random day. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, that's a. I, I'm. I'm just like agreeing with you, and uh, it just did not want us to miss out on you know giving the people who do like listening to us and giving some perspective, or at least offering a bit of catharsis. I get loud and angry and curse for you. That's nice sometimes, <laughs> don't you think? It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, uh, basically what I'm saying, though, to the world is uh, while we're on our break, you better not have any fucking pressing concerns because I will <laughs> end up making an emergency <laughs> podcast if you do, but I'll be even more annoyed. Okay, so don't fucking us. do it, world. Give us like a break. Give us a break. I want to enjoy the break in peace. But yeah, I guess as always, you know, thank you so much for listening uh, to, again, this emergency podcast coming out on I don't even know what day. But I <laughs> hope that you all get some good rest. Keep an open mind. Speak the fuck up about this shit and stay tf -y. And we will see you all again soon. But bye for now. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs>